Luna, you monster. Thank you for the bits. I do appreciate that. So last week, I did a thing where we watched a bunch of old uh, game trailers because I've been noticing a trend over the past few months where streamers will watch like game commercials. So I was wondering to myself, how could I do like a twist on that? Wow. Way to catch up, Twitch. Thank you, Luna. So I thought we could go back and watch game trailers to be a little a little unique. Just to be a little a little unique. So this is where we left off last time. And we'll just watch some trailers together and hang out. Let me uh, adjust the stream real quick. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we're just gonna everyone get cozy and we're gonna watch some watch some cool game trailers and go back to two thousand whenever. You don't want to want to know how long I looked for the MGS4 trailer that wasn't 10 minutes, but eventually you found one. <laughs> yeah, MGS4. You know what? That's the thing about MGS4. Where every other cinematic game tries to like be like, yeah, it's a it's a movie, but it's kind of a, kind of a game. MGS4 has the balls to be like, no. You're going to sit down and watch a 90 minute movie and then you get to play my game. Go fuck yourself. And to that, to that extent, I applaud them for having the balls to do so. If Hideo Kojima says you're going to watch my 90 minute intro movie, you're going to fucking watch the movie. <laughs> yeah, some soft pretzels ready. Hell yeah. All right. So here's the first trailer for Sister Location. Oh. If it needs to be adjusted down, let me know. Is this the man behind the slaughter? Oh no! Like none of these. <laughs> and then Matt Pat came in his pants a million times, thinking about how much money he was gonna get from all the all the theories. You know, the, uh, Sister Location is like an interesting like turning point, I think, in the FNAF series. Is that if I were to say the like the peak, the peak of a uh, FNAF hype was probably FNAF three. I think Sister Location was like the start of like people were kind of not sure where the series was going. I think it that that's the begin will be the beginning of like the huh where where do we go from here? Interesting. You think Scott stopped wanting to make proper FNAF games after 4 and it shows? Like, probably. And then MatPat uploaded 5 billion theories. 
Oh shit. It, I no like no like no joke. I kind of think this trailer might be better than any of the ultimate trailers. And granted, Ultimate has some good ones, but this one just has so much like fanfare and hype to it. it has a great like beginning. Okay, we know what it is. You get a little teaser at the beginning. Oh, what's happening in a uh, what's what's happening in a uh, little villager land? Oh shit. And this music is fucking awesome. It just has this like great build up to it. And the strings come in. This is a such a good trailer. And you're like, what the fuck? 3DS? What is this? 2012? Oh. The first time Bowser was good. I think the 3DS version of this game wasn't bad, it was just on the 3DS. I think the 3DS version of Smash 4 is totally fine. You just have to play it on a 3DS, so it kinda sucks. Bro, I loved Smash Run. I'm so sad Smash Run wasn't an ultimate. It was right there. Oh, I'm always ready, Cave. I'm always ready for the danger. Oh, okay. I know this one's kind of... People are hot and cold on this one, but it was cool to see. I mean, if nothing else, this does this does look really good for a 3DS game. Man, I really wish I liked Majora's Mask. <laughs> Cause there's lots of cool, unique things about it. Yo, it's the funny Ben Drowned game. I don't know, Zeph, I couldn't get into it. I don't know what it was. I think it's because the game's like mainly side quests. Oh my god, only, uh, remember the 2DS? The 2DS is peak. <laughs> oh, going from one hype to another hype. Oh shit. In that beautiful moment before Sonic, Sonic Forces came out. <laughs> And everyone's like, oh, it's back. We're back. We're back, everybody. In those those wonderful few months before Forces when everything was just on top of the world for Sonic.
Oh, I fucking love this animation. I love that they started doing these animations for every, like, 2D Sonic game. Thank you, Christian Whitehead. Nah, they, they really did go dummy on the animation. I really hope uh, Sonic Superstars can live up to this. Oh yeah, I'm sure this animation is just like a just an absolute ass ton of work. Available for download August 15th. Fuck! It's not available right now. Oh wait. Man, what a time 2017 was. What a time. Gotta wait a month. Alright, God Hand trailer. Oh, 2006. Just like Shadow the Hedgehog. Clover. Ah yes, the Capcom game that never, never found its audience. Know that voice actor. You're the boss. That arm is the god hand, right? Only thing I'm giving up is an ass kicking. Nice. See, what is this? Two thousand six? Too busy playing, I don't know, Halo 3? This looks like fucking nonsense. Which I know is the point. Ah, oh, booty bounce. This is God Hand Smush. It's a funny video game. Hey Gerard, what's up? We're just watching some old video game trailers. Was this the original One Punch Man? Iggy! Oh my god, reference! That was 100% a JoJo reference. Also a JoJo reference, oh my god. You didn't tell me there were JoJo references in this game. And I wish this wasn't a better quality. Isn't this game also like unplayable? Like it's like almost it's almost lost media or something. It emulates like trash and like the actual game is hard to find. Hey, what's up, beer cat?
Got hand. Only on the PlayStation 2. Wait, PlayStation 2? When did the PS3 come out? I forget. PS3 was like... Was it 07? Was that like one of the last PS2 games? Weird. 2006. Oh. Odd. Thanks, Meerkat. Well, speaking of generational skips, here's uh, everyone's first look at Nintendo Swatch back in like 2016 when everyone was like, Nintendo dead. The Switch is not going to save anything. Yeah, it's just, it's for the same game, RC. I'd prefer to I'd prefer some more variety. Oh shit! Oh my god! It's a handheld hybrid. Oh my god! You're telling me I could walk my dog and play Zelda? Oh my god, you could- oh my god, cartridges! And then everyone screamed! I, I remember seeing some, like, YouTube video of, like, someone going on a 45-minute rant. Rant about, like, cartridges are back! What does this mean for gaming? Yeah. Uh, it's in- it's through our Discord, Gerard. We have a we have a list. There's like a game trailers channel to post to post some stuff. And then everyone licked them. Oh yeah, you oh yeah, people did lick the cartridges. I forgot about that. Yeah, remember playing on one Joy-Con? I love to go play basketball with my friends and then bring out my Switch and play fake basketball. <laughs> oh, Odyssey. Oh, fuck. That was our first look at Odyssey. This was like the first Odyssey footage. They just kind of teased it. And everyone was like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, let me bring my Switch over to a party. Yeah, let's all huddle around this 7-inch screen <laughs> and play it at a party. Oh, first shot, first shot of Splatoon 2. There's a lot teased in this trailer. It's so weird to think how much of a different, like, a different world it was before Switch. Because, like, everyone was like, Nintendo dead, this, that, and now, like, I think the this, this Switch is so prominent. It's, it's incredible how much of a turnaround it was. Oh, Minecraft Summer Celebration. Fuck yeah. Love Minecraft. Wii U marketing was better. <laughs> I also love non-existent marketing. Oh yeah, we had the Switch presentation. We saw Splatoon 2 for the first time. And everyone was like, this shit looks the same. I think we covered the Amiibo trailers last time? They're somewhere in the list. But, yeah, the, the, the Wii U commercials were something.
<laughs> oh no, I'm just saying, Gerard. People complained about it. I fucking love Splatoon 2. Remember when the online worked? Oh no. What the hell is that? It just kind of crashed. Weird. Well, hold up. Let me... X out that. Let me pin... This real quick. Hold up. Uh, the. I want to go see what Gerard put in. Real fast, and we'll go back to being in order. Just real quick. Yo, oh, this is peak. Actually, peak. Good choice. Excellent choice. Oh, these trailers are so good. It was E3, and no one really knew what this was, and they're like, oh, what's this? What is this? We got Ryu. What is this, Street Fighter 4? It's about time. Right, Street Fighter 5 or some shit? What's going on, Ryu? Are they bringing back 3 to Evo? That's cool. Then you're like, oh, fuck. MVC. Back, baby! And then no one talks about the fourth one. Shut the fuck up, there was no four. <laughs> I mean, from what people tell me, Big B, the fourth one was a perfectly fine game. It just was ugly as shit. <laughs> Sadly. It wasn't like Street Fighter VI, or everyone like wants to jerk off to it constantly. It was the opposite. It had the opposite effect of Street Fighter VI. Og Dante. Og Deadpool before he was overused. You know, not for nothing, I actually do kind of like go back to this trailer like every once in a while. <laughs> Maybe not like yearly but once in a blue moon i get i get the, the 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 urge to watch it i i'm glad people still like deadpool nitro <laughs> that i'm, I'm kind of done with it although people have calmed down on deadpool the past few years that is true but there was like a stint from like 2009 to like mid to late 2010s where it's just, oh god, it was unbearable. Let's hope Marvel and Disney doesn't fuck up this time if they ever gonna do another MVC game. I mean, yeah, I think Disney is the, is the real, uh, real thorn in the side there. Although, personally, as much as I love MVC, if Disney's not going to play ball, then maybe we should do a different series, perhaps, hmm? Maybe, uh, Marvel vs. Sega? Or Sega vs. Capcom? Sonic vs. Mega Man? Think about it. Nah, that's a dope trailer. The, mem the memories, they, f they swell up. This is a newer one, but a cool trailer, nonetheless. 
It's a shame this game got like microtransaction to hell because I did kind of want to play it. But apparently it's like really bad micros. <laughs> Deadpool met All Might and now you can hate him. <laughs> but I like All Might. I still like Deadpool. There are just some characters you get like, you just need a break from sometimes. Oh, chicken. Yeah, just like all the different versions. See, it's sad because it's a game I'd really want and it looks really fun. But it, but from what people tell me, it's just so many goddamn microtransactions, like microtransactions like up the ass, which is sad because it's a great concept. This is n this is not any Mario Party ever. None of these people hate each other. This is wrong. No, oh, there it is. Th this is accurate. Okay, good. Get fucked, Rosalina. Yes, suffer. Suffer for your art. You know, if they really wanted to lean into it, they should have really had it at the end that they are like all like actually mad at each other. And everyone's just fucking upset, <laughs> and it's over. The Crash 4. You know what's weird? I don't really hear anyone talk about Crash 4. I hear them more so talk about, like, the trilogy. I'm not really plugged into the Crash Bandicoot fan base, so I don't really know what the general consensus of this one is. It's good, but completing it sucks ass. Eh. Sounds good for someone who, com who completes nothing like me. Well, yeah, as it should be, Mario. Only the first three matter. I kind of want them to do the same thing with Spyro, but... I believe Toys for Bob... Toys for Bob is now in, like, the fucking Call of Duty mines, so we're never gonna get another Spyro. This game does look great. The visuals are all really nice. It does one that a Sonic thing does of all time where your face gimmick that no one asked for. Oh, poor Crash. He died. Our are already moving against us. We will oh, forced gimmick. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I never really played Crash growing up either. I was never a Crash guy. I mean, it, it doesn't help that the PlayStation 4 was my first PlayStation. But, uh... Going away from Crash to Peak. Let's uh let's see what our good lady's up to. This came out in Dark Times for Troid. Dark Dark Times for Troid. 
This was the start of the revolution. Didn't, like, we also get the announcement for Prime 4 the same year as this? But, like, way later. Ugh. It's my girl. My girl, Sammy. And then Metroid Prime 4 never fucking happened. <laughs> but, look. The... The, the Troid revolution was just delayed. It did happen. And then we got Dread, and then we got Prime Remake, and now it's all good. Now, now Troid, Tr Troid fans are fat and happy. We've had our buffet. We're ready for more. But it all began here. Oh yeah, Prime Federation Force, how could I forget? <laughs> oh god, people are so fucking mad about that. Yep, 2017. Man, what a good year 2017 was. Fucking good year for gaming. Oh yeah, here it is, Mario Kart Infinite, the first trailer. Seven years later, it's still getting content. What a... We, little did we know when this trailer came out that this would be just our lives for 10 years. Little did we know because you were like, oh yeah, a, a new port of Mario Kart 8, that's a good game. I'm glad people will get to play it. Oh look, Splatoon. That's cute. I'm sure this will be a cute holdover until Mario Kart 9 comes out on the Switch. Little did we fucking know. Little did the world know that no, no, this is the forever cart. Hey, what's up, Box? We're watching some uh, old game commercials. Also, hi, Swef. Game trailers, rather. Man, it no, it is impressive that they've like basically tripled the size of this game over time. But I don't know. It's it's just it's so interesting how ignorant we were back then. How ignorant we were of, Mar of Mario Kart Infinite. Oh no, Ratchet and Crank Rule 34 game. I did like Ratchet and Clank. I, I kind of want to go through the rest of the series, but we'll see. Members of the Resistance. Furry's wet dream, the game. <laughs> oh no. We promise nothing nefarious will hey, you know what? At least they're serving some community. Dr. Nefarious. This is the part where you lose. <laughs> Ratchet, the dimensionator. Dr. Nefarious just crowned himself emperor of this dimension. We've got to get him and us out of here. But Look, Gerard, it's a new awakening for a new generation. We have to build a new one. The boundaries between the universes are coming undone. Oh, that's the boy you hope, you hope. Our time has finally come. It wow. Another Lombax. Wait, I have to find my friend. Where are you, Clank? You okay, Bolts? You came after me. I have seen the donkey video on this game. I've never played it. I've only played Ratchet and Clank 1, and I liked it for the most part.
Hey, Gordo. Well, it was an early PS2 game, so it's probably pretty short. That game does look delightful. I just don't have a PS5. But I do have... Oh shit! Oh, let's get through Super Mario Party to get to peak. It'd be cool if these were the same actors as the previous one. Don't think about it. <laughs> All or nothing. You know what? I'm sad. I really liked Super Mario Party. Because I thought it added tons of really cool ideas to Mario Party. And then they're just like, no, remake the first three. Fuck these ideas. Fuck new concepts. Go back to the original. It got online eventually, like two years later. <laughs> I just like being able to play as a Goomba. I just want to be a Goomba. What is with these later Switch games that are like the follow-up looking real similar like to this in Superstars? I don't know. I think that's just the, the limited tech of the Switch. You know what I mean? Or it just uses the same models. Yeah, it got online four years later. Um, I don't know. I don't think anyone really used it, Mox, but it was a cool idea. Uh, yeah, go for it, Gordo. Why not? We'll take Cursed. How does the fucking Goomba do a tricycle? It's bullshit. Oh, and here we are. A based game that no one, no one tried. No one gave a chance. I love Team Sonic Racing. Everyone hates on it. It has a cool concept. And it has a Crush 40 theme song. Team Sussy Racing. Give it time, Gordo. That will exist soon enough. Bro, Swef, don't even. This song goes hard. I mean, well, the lead singer of Crush 40 is like, is June. It's like, it's like one of the fucking... Crush 40 is June's band. <laughs> so when the member is like, you know, one of the fucking composers. Oh, June Sineo? He's like the composer for Adventure 2 and Adventure 1 and stuff. He's the reason we have all the incredible butt rock. Oh, we're going to do some more Pikmin logo discourse. Ugh, rip Pikmin logo. Man. Sonic All-Stars is really good, too. But I think we can all agree that uh, Sonic Racing Transformed is, uh, is peak. Hi, Eevee. I really liked the art in this game. I never played it, but it was a good way to update this series. 
Now they gotta do the same thing for the Firebrand game. Remember when Capcom used to do stuff for their old series? Good times. Ghost and Gabos. God, that was already two years ago. Fuck. Oh, it's in the uh, Discord. It's in the uh, classic game trailers. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's time for peak. It's time for peak! Huh. What is this? A Sonic Adventure remake? Oh shit. Oh shit, it's the man. It's my baby boy! He's here to blow your goddamn mind. I think, like, on the short list of games that, like, I could play again for the first time, Mario Odyssey is, like, pretty high on that list. Remember when there was never a sequel to this game? And it, like baffles everyone to this day because like you play through odyssey and it's like man they're like barely scratching the surface of like what these mechanic mechanics could do and it's like s sequel <laughs> that didn't fucking happen <laughs> you know actually gordo i might be playing a uh, hat in time for the first time ever pretty soon yeah, like, in the best way possible, like, the game does kind of feel like a beta. Like a test. But, like, in a good way? I don't know how to explain it. We got the, the Bowser drip. Bowser got fucking rizzed out in this game. Here, look, I tell you what, uh, after I beat Sonic Adventure, I'll play Hat in Time after that. Hat in Time is next. I have it downloaded and ready to go. Man, what a good year 2017 was. We were eating so good back then. Happy! Oh, from peak to peak? Oh shit. God damn, the soundtrack goes so hard. You know, Tropical Freeze is actually also on the I wish I could play it again for the first time list. Guess who's back? You'll never fucking actually guess. Remember when this was the latest DK game and there was never anything after this? Oh shit. Oh fuck, he's here! It's the man! It's fucking funky mode hours, bitches. DK games are sounding like some good ass drinks. I kinda. 
they finally added the main character. <laughs> Remember when, like, the first half of the Switch's life is just like... Oh, man, look at all these great games. And then, like, the five people who had a Wii U were yelling, These are just Wii U games! But no one played them because they're Wii U games. So everyone's like, Oh, these are so peak. Where have these been all my life? And everyone's like, On the Wii U five years ago, you fucker! <laughs> everyone's like, What's a Wii U? Oh, oh no. Oh, we're going way back with this one. Wow, that was intense. I just flew in from the new ruins level and boy are my arms tired. <laughs> my god. That was funny stuff. Wow, funny stuff. Dog, did you see that? Oh. oh I'm Crash. Crash Bandicoot. I'm so scared. The wonder from down under, the rocket with a pocket. You may remember me from my last adventure where I just go, oh, I don't know, save the world. You're welcome. And now oh. I have to do it again. The 90s were a mistake. You're just in time to see my new digs. Crash 2 is incredible. Bigger. Oh. Oh. Why is he French? <laughs> Good thing I'm not wearing Man, Australia is my favorite part of France. I also ride this cool jet pack and this most excellent jet ski. Why is there no background music? Is it just like a guy doing like a stand up bit? What the fuck is this? I, I think I smell a rat. Oh shit, a rat! Oh well, it must be my imagination. Hey, speaking of rats, you know the mad scientist from the lab. Will will never understand Peak. Bro, this is a 90s VTuber. God, this is so cursed! Nice guy. Went to one of those self-help seminars, turned over a new leaf. He says he's gonna help me out this time. Yeah, help me out. You know what I told him? Why don't you take a 12-step program off a 10-step pier? <laughs> Gordo, I think they're just mo-capping a guy. They just told a guy, they, they, they found a hobo off the streets. And it's like, hey, hobo, I'll give you $10 to put on this mo-cap suit and do this bit for like 10 minutes and we'll take what we can take. And he was like, yeah, I ate. This is like making me actually afraid. Hobo peak. Peak hobo. This is really just like a guy talking about this game for like three minutes in a completely silent room. We had an Elvis impression and an Arnold impression and Oh my god, is this still going? This is like mesmerizing. I'm overcome with a newfound need to play this game. Maybe that was the intended effect of this trailer. Way past cool. Vortex strikes back. Still only on PlayStation. Cause PlayStation rules. <laughs> oh, Crash wouldn't say that now. Crash has fucking betrayed PlayStation. Oh man, that was a trip. That was a fucking trip, dude. Anyway, going from, from cursed all the way to peak. From the bottom of the mountain all the way to the top of the mountain. 
Man, I remember like when this was announced, I was so terrified because Metroid Prime is one of those games where it's like it's so perfect. You don't want anyone to touch and fuck it up. But goddamn, this game was such a slam dunk. This remake was nailed so hard. And it's like far and away the best looking Switch game. Your brother got this for your birthday last week. Oh, that was a good pur good purchase. Your brother's a good person. He wants you to live a happy life. God damn, this remake was so good. Man, I know it says remaster, but they they put a lot of effort in that one. And it dropped that day. God. What a, what a world. What a world we lived in. I am going to peek to the beginning. So I think people posted some new ones. And there's a big fucking list. So I'll go back to the ones I can go back to. Pin this so we know where we are. Will pin the best trailer of all time. Oh, okay. We got some meats. I guess they would count as trailers. Technically. Let's see, where do we want to go first? We want from Gordo real quick. Can't really commercial, but it's fine. How did anyone watch television back then? And I was alive back then. How did we see anything? How did we live in a standard definition world? Oh god, this Kirby is terrifying. Oh, that's that. Would, mm, I don't like that Kirby. Skylandies. Giants is my favorite, so we'll watch Giants real quick. Woo! What a day! Did you see those minions when Jack Back was like with his vacuum fan thingy? And they were like, Why was there never a Skylanders like movie? Pop fizz. Enough with the soda. No way! It's how I keep my edge! It's soda licious! Plus, uh, it gives me power. You know who has crazy awesome powers? The Giants. Yeah, guess what else? Bigfoot's got big feet. Come on, the Giants are just a myth. Oh, they're real. They're spectacular. On oh, they're huge. Really? There was a Skylanders Netflix series? Check it out. Really? This is my sarcastic face. <gasps> God, this is so, this is so 2010s. Oh yeah, Crash wasn't this, wasn't he? They can punch holes in the ground. I don't believe it. You show me a pig that can fly, I'll show you a giant who can smash a hole in the ground. I once heard that they are so The Netflix show is really bad. Oh no. Hey, look at that island. I'm going to pull it closer because, you know, I'm a giant, no biggie. If they're so real, then where are they? Probably petting a unicorn at the end of a rainbow. <laughs> Oh my god, there was a giant there all along. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I did not see that one coming. Okay, I'm quitting the soda. I love it when I'm right. Chaos. Is that you, Invader Zim? No sweat. We got your back. Let's do this. Bring it on. What's up now? They're bigger. They're better. They're boomier. Introducing Skylanders Giants. Oh my god, they're so big! I don't know, I think my favorite giant was the Bumblebee guy. He was pretty cool. Bad idea. Oh no, he died. And then he died, the end. Dad. 
And that was one from Nitro. Let's do one from Eevee. Oh, the, an orange box trailer. Oh, no. Remember the orange box? Remember the console version of TF2? Fun fact, the console version of TF2 was the main one I played for so long on the 360. 360 TF2 is all I know, and you know what? I fucking loved it. Oh, Wilhelm scream. You heard it. I heard it. Funny. The funny happened. Imagine if sentries did that much damage. How long does an Xbox controller last? Like, what do you mean? Battery life-wise? I don't remember. Battery life? Uh, pretty good. Like, for my current Xbox controllers, I'll get like... 60, 80 hours. Like I've only changed my batteries once. That is any indication. I'll baseball bat. Bye, Pyro. Bro, does anyone want to get on their 360s and play some, play some fucking, play some fucking 360 TF2? Hot take, Xbox controllers are too big? Really? I feel as though the Xbox controller, or at least like the 360 controller, is like the controller everyone copies. Because the Pro Controller looks the exact same. Every, like, third-party controller is just a th Xbox controller. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure there's lots of weird cut stuff in the 360 version. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mox. I'm sure you can find tiny controllers. I'm sure they exist somewhere. Oh, TF2. What a day. And then there's the classic. Rest in peace, Rick May, honestly. We have an entry in the greatest series of trailers of all time. And then they released the uh, Source Filmmaker. And oh, and then we had the Porn Revolution. God bless. <laughs> you and your friends have the strongest Fortnite squad of all time. Is it just? Is it go? Is it? Is it? Is it four Shreks? Leon Kennedy, Miguel O'Hara, Goku Black, and Boba Fett. Um, no Piccolo, which is concerning. I mean, at Mox, it's free, it's easy to learn, 
Why wouldn't it be? Such a baby. Lips grow back. No, they don't. Why not Blender? I think Source Filmmaker just came out first. I don't know. Maybe it's easier to use. I don't know anything about 3D animation. Other than I can't do it. What happens now? Now? <laughs> Let's go practice medicine. Oh, there he is, my king. You know what's one of the more slept on things about TF2 that makes it so like unique and delightful? Uh, TF2 has an incredible soundtrack, and I feel like no one talks about that enough. Fun fact, the metagun model here actually turned into the quick fix, which cannot in fact make you invincible. RIP. Sad day. Oh, poor soldier. Classic. Absolute classic. Back to the order. Oh, we're actually catching up pretty nice. Did you know that Valve is cool with streamers using their music for streams and vids? Oh yeah, nah. That makes sense to me. Anyway, back to the peakest trailer of all time. Like, once again, I unironically go back to this trailer, like, pretty often. Oh, 360's the highest quality, okay. <laughs> This trailer is, like, unnecessarily really good, and I don't know why they went this hard. Because it has really good music and timing and choreography. I have no idea why they did it, why they did it but, you know, God bless. Oh my god! It's Mayro and Sandwich together. Are they gonna kiss? Oh shit, it's going down on the ping pong. Like, you, you kind of take yourself out of the trailer a bit when you realize they're doing a race and Mario and Sonic are neck and neck, but you know, whatever. It's fine. It's a trailer. Wario, famous for his hotchery. <laughs> ah yes, Shadow's best event.
There's no reason for that trailer to be that good. Holy shit. Why is it so good? It goes so stupid for no reason. Ooh, we're going back to Wii U. All right. Going back to the Wii U, I see. The best console of all time. The haters don't know. See, but the question remains. 3D Land or 3D World? Which do you prefer? Because I kind of want to give it to Land. Although, this does have, once again, rizzed out Bowser with his car. World has Bowser furry, that's true. This is also a game that has, just has fuck tons of ideas in it. Like, I, I kind of hate to say it. The only, like, downside of 3D World and Land is that in terms of, like, visual variety, not in terms of, like, gameplay, because these are both, they're both really strong gameplay-wise. But in terms of, like, visual creativity, Odyssey does make them look like bullshit. I think that's why they're kind of more slept on. Because Odyssey is, like, way crazier and more interesting with its, like, vistas and, like, environments and stuff. Odyssey goes absolutely crazy. 